The official version of Spike Ball is a net and ball game where you play the ball off of a round net in the centre, backwards and forwards, a little bit like volleyball, but rather than going over a net, you play it onto a net. The full version is played completely in the round with no boundaries. It's 2v2 and it's quite big in America where they have official tournaments and so on, but not so well recognised over here just yet. With the official kit you can play pretty much anytime, anywhere and it's a great social game as well as a good one for developing hand-eye coordination. If you do want to try out the full rules for this game, you can have a look at this website which we've also linked with the resources. As for our hospital school home-based version, you're going to need a bouncy ball, a hard surface to play on and some way of marking your um, central circle area. So in this instance, we've simply placed a single flat marker inside a slab to say that this is the slab we're aiming for. Um, in this second version, we've used cones to mark out a circle and you can obviously adjust the uh, diameter of your circle depending on the ability of the people playing as well. If you don't have cones you could use something like chalk to draw a circle or use some of the other things we've used as markers in previous triathlons just make sure they're not a trip or a slip hazard. There's a couple of challenges you can do with this game either a cooperative rally where you work together to play the ball backwards and forwards through the circle scoring a point each time it lands inside and as many as you can until the ball either lands outside the circle or a player misses it. For younger or less able children you might do a catch rally rather than a pat rally. An alternative challenge would be to try a competitive rally where you're trying to play it more like the actual version of spike ball and trying to play the ball so that your opponent is unable to return it and each time this happens you score a point. From an accessibility perspective you could play each of those previous versions seated or you could play tabletop if you wanted to raise the target area up. You could also just do some simple progressive practices to improve throwing, catching and patting ability. So having mini goals such as catching the ball five times in a row or being able to pat the ball into the centre of the circle three times in a row, that kind of thing.